My name is Mark Sherlock. I'm a health advisor for MSF based in Amsterdam. Noma is a orofacial a gangrenous disease. This means that it is a, an infection of the face and it, it affects children mostly between the ages of two to five years old and up to 90% of children who get the disease die within the first few weeks of the first symptoms developing. So there's a serious disease hugely neglected around the world. And that is why in 2014, MSF started the collaboration with uh, the Nigerian Ministry of Health in the Noma Children's Hospital in Sokoto. And since then, we've been offering surgical support along with the Ministry of Health, but also we do a lot of outreach activities in the community and where we try to raise, raise awareness around the disease, educate healthcare workers, but also community leaders and traditional healers. And we try to capture patients as early as possible so we can actually initiate treatment early and hopefully save lives. COVID-19 has had a big impact on our NOMA activities. In the last few months, because of travel restrictions, MSF have been unable to do the normal surgical activity that we have been providing over, over the last few years. However, through close collaboration with the Ministry of Health, the Ministry of Health have been able to provide a full surgical team to complete an entire intervention solo with the support of MSF. And just last week, uh, we finished this intervention where 20 NOMA patients had surgical intervention with really good outcomes. So we're really, really happy for this collaboration with the Ministry of Health, especially through these difficult times over COVID. There are lots of stories from Northwest Nigeria, a lot of positive, a lot of hopeful stories. And one of these stories that, that, that has stuck with me is one that I've heard a lot is, is, is that of Belia. And so Belia is a 20 year old um, NOMA survivor who lives in a remote village um, in Northwest Nigeria, right on the border of Niger. And Belia remembers possibly, and he's been told that he developed NOMA um, at around one to two years of age. And he, he survived. He's one of those lucky few that survived the initial infection. But he was left with the scars of, of Noma. Noma leaves severe life-changing scars um, of losing um, some parts of your face, your lips, perhaps in some people, the nose and the eye. And he was left with these scars. And he faced huge amounts of stigma in the community. When people used to see his face in other villages, they'd run away and be scared of him. And this caused huge amounts of emotional turmoil for Bilia. But eventually he heard about the Noma Children's Hospital in, in Sokoto. And we don't just provide surgical intervention for children, but also adolescents and adults who are living with the, uh, the long-term effects of Noma. Through these um, surgical interventions that we're performing in Sokoto, along with the Ministry of Health, we're giving people self-esteem back. We're giving them back their lives so they can go on and live normal lives in their communities. And this is having a huge impact. We as MSF are calling for three clear action points on NOMA. Number one is to get NOMA onto the WHO neglected tropical disease list. And what this will do, this will shine a light onto this ne most neglected of neglected diseases. And we need the global health community to get more actively involved. We need more research on this disease. The second one is that we want to target the global health community and the wider development community on using NOMA as an indication of the sustainable development goals. NOMA is very linked to poverty, per socioeconomic status, lack of access to healthcare, lack of access to vaccinations in children. All components that are trying to be addressed in the SDGs. If the SDGs are being addressed, no one should be left behind and that includes NOMA patients. And the last point that we want to change with NOMA is to get NOMA integrated into routine health services. So as part of the WHO 2030 roadmap for neglected tropical diseases, they're, they're calling for integration of NTDs into routine healthcare. We are calling for the same with NOMA. We want children to be screened in endemic countries for NOMA, for the early signs and symptoms of NOMA, where effective treatment can be quickly started and lives can be saved. And we believe this is a huge and very important public health component that will have a very long and lasting impact on, on this devastating disease. So this video is part of the Ops and Five um, videos. And if you'd like to find out more information about NOMA, we've got our NOMA website for MSF. It's noma.msf.org. But we have also made a, a beautiful and heartfelt documentary on the disease recorded in Northwest Nigeria in Sokoto. It gives a voice and shines a light on this most neglected disease. And if you would like to view this, um, you can find the, the short version on YouTube uh, through the links provided, but also we have a longer version, um, just under an hour of the documentary. And we would like as many people as possible to see this documentary. And if you, anybody out there would like to screen this in the wider global health community, please get in touch and we can arrange a screening.